Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. And who is that lovely voice speaking to me? Who am I speaking to? This is Robert Sinclair from AAA. And Sarah Robinson Hi, Robert. From How are you? Oh, we're well. How are you? And you brought a guest. Who would you bring with you? Hey there. This is Sarah from Michelin. Hi, Sarah. Thank you so much for joining us here today in Dallas, Texas. It's a beautiful day on KKVI FM Radio and the Valder BB Show. And you guys have information about this summer. You know, we've got Memorial Day coming up. That's the official start of summer, and I know you know that, uh, Sarah. Yes, absolutely. You know, there's a reason that National Tire Safety Week is positioned right now at the beginning of summer. Yeah, summer. Because we're actually kicking off, unfortunately, what is termed the 100 deadliest days of summer. You know, as, as we go into this, we want to make sure that we're prepared for the driving season and that we're really vigilant about, you know, getting our vehicles, our tires prepared for the trip. You know, there are a couple of really quick safety tips that, that we can take care of ourselves. You know, the most important safety feature of any vehicle is the driver behind the wheel. And making sure that, you know, all the effort you put into packing your kids' bags and you've got the sunscreen and the pool noodles and everything ready for the trip, and then people have a tendency to completely neglect the simple things like their tires. So I have here an investment of about $2, $2. to ensure that our trip goes smoothly. And we use this penny here, it's still powerful, to ensure that we have proper tread depth on our tires. The tread depth is what enables us to resist hydroplaning and we know going into the summer we're going to have a lot of rain showers coming up. You want to be prepared for that. As well as you're doing that, kind of inspect the tire, make sure that it's got you know no cuts or bulges. But what we see is only half of the story. A lot of people have a tendency to overlook the importance of tire inflation pressure. It is just as critical to the performance of the tire as the tread. And so again, $1.99 right here, we want to check once a month or before our road trip to ensure that we've got adequate inflation pressure. You can find the number for your car on the driver's door jam or in the owner's manual. And it's a very carefully researched and engineered number to ensure that you've got the best performance in wet and dry, best longevity, fuel efficiency, everything. So again, I think one of the most common things that people encounter are flat tires on the road this summer. So it's one of the easiest to avoid. I want everyone to know that Sarah Robinson is a tire and driving safety expert. And Robert St. Clair, he's with AAA. Robert, add to that conversation because that's great information. I've heard about the penny over the years, and so that's a good reminder to us. Well, over this holiday weekend, we're anticipating more than 330,000 breakdowns, and it's going to be a very busy Memorial Day weekend, more than 39 million people traveling. 88% of those, roughly 34 million, will be driving. And the top three items we get calls for are flat tires, dead batteries, and lockouts. And for the entire summer, generally how Memorial Day goes is how the summer is going to go. And we're one million more travelers this Memorial Day compared to last year, the, the most since 2005. And so it's going to be a very busy summer. We've had busy years the past couple years. On average, we're driving about three trillion miles a year. Gasoline has been relatively cheap. More of us are out on the road. Unfortunately, that's the opportunity for mad, more bad things to happen. Uh, more breakdowns, and we're anticipating about 7 million this summer, but unfortunately more crashes with uh, fatalities and injuries. And so it's very important to keep that basic safety information in mind before you hit the road. Wear your seatbelt and don't drink and drive. If we could get people to wear seatbelts and everybody in the vehicle, including those in the back seat, 
and not drink and drive, we could cut deaths and injuries in half right now. So people need to keep that in mind. Sarah mentioned that the most important safety device is the one behind the wheel. That's very true. That is very, very true. Let me ask you, Robert, I'd like to ask you, do we have more cars on the road? Oh, without a doubt. Uh, the average car now on the road is probably 12 or 13 years old. And the past two years, we've set records for new vehicle sales. Last year, it was 17.6 million, which broke the record we set the year before at 17.5 million. More vehicles out on the road, more people driving. As I mentioned, we're driving three trillion miles a year. We're probably going to break that record this year. More of those un unfortunate opportunities to run into each other. But, you know, it's not all gloom and doom. It's the opportunity for families and friends to get out and see each other. We did a survey earlier in the year at AAA and found out that fully 74% of families across the country are going to take a trip of some kind this year. More than likely, they're going to be driving. So folks need to keep that in mind. They're going to have lots of company out on the road this year. Yeah. Sarah, let me ask you, those safety checks, those should be done all the time. Is there like a safety uh, checklist on the web or something like that so people can remember? I mean, absolutely. You know, you can go to michelinman.com to get, you know, the, the checklist on your tire. And then I know AAA also is a great resource on AAA.com for pre-trip checklists. But as you say, this is a year-long thing. Michelin recently conducted a study to see about drivers' behavior over the seasons. And it was actually pretty alarming to find that the vast majority of people felt so much safer on the road in the summer because of better driving conditions, you know, perceived, you know, safer conditions, more daylight, but it's actually counterproductive to the truth where it is the most dangerous time. And as it relates to tires, you know, again, wanting to take good care of them so they return the favor, heat is the natural enemy of tires. So again, that tire inflation pressure, you know, if you're running around on underinflated tires in these high temperatures in the summer, you're more likely to have a problem. So again, just as vigilant as you are in the winter time with the winter conditions, stay that way in the summer. Be a, a super alert driver, cast your vision far ahead so you're taking in the whole situation, limit your distractions in the car, and, you know, just be hyper vigilant about safety because, again, this is one of the most dangerous times of the year and it should be the most joyous for everybody out of school and taking vacation. All right, Sarah, thank you so very much. And, Robert, would you uh, end on don't drink and drive for me again? Don't drink and drive, wear the seatbelt, and don't be distracted. Driving is not downtime. It's not the opportunity to do other things, check emails and talk on the phone and check uh, all those things on their phone. Put them away. You have to concentrate fully on the road conditions so that you can be a safe driver. Robert St. Clair with AAA and Sarah Robinson, the tire and driving safety expert. I want to thank you guys for being on the Valder BB Show. I have a great audience. And people respond. They love giveaways. They love free right. stuff. I want them to respond to these messages that you're giving them that can save their lives. Thank you both. Thank Thanks, you. Father.